I guess you can't do a video of Peru without doing this thing here, the West Clocks. Very important part of history. They used to employ a whole ton of workers and then it closed about a little over 40 years ago. Just imagine like this street being lined up with uh, urban cars, them like mass transit urban cars and then a bunch of workers going into work. They could employ upwards of like 4,000 people if not more. The close up of the sign there and the clock. Here's more of the West Clocks. Now part of it burnt down, I think like 10 years ago, a couple of kids decided it was fun to start a fire. I don't know which part of it burnt down, but I think it was like the back part of it or something. And then here's like the neighborhood that's uh, to the east of downtown Peru. Sits across from the uh, West Clocks factory. Just imagine like all these stores being full and everything back in the day. People shopping, working, living. And here's the uh, Karis Chemical building. Very famous name in Lysel in Peru, Karis Chemicals. Hello, and welcome to Peru, Illinois. The city of Peru sits about 90 miles southwest of Chicago, and it is the twin city of neighboring La Salle to the east. If you haven't seen my downtown La Salle video, go check that out. The first settler to Peru was John Hayes, and he arrived in 1830. The city was organized as a borough in 1848, incorporated as a village in 1845, and incorporated as a city in 1851. Peru was able to capitalize on being the western terminus of the Illinois-Michigan Canal. And it is strategically also located right on the Illinois River and has many railroads that go through the uh, city. The business district originally was on Water Street. And as you're gonna see in the video, the, commercial, the main commercial district now sits on the bluff on 4th Street. There are not many buildings left on Water Street. Peru was also a coal mining town between 1857 and 1949. One major industry that Peru still currently has back from its uh, days of being an industrial town, maize nails. They are sold nationwide and it is one of the last manufacturers of nails. So if you see in your hardware store maize nails, that's where they come from, Peru, Illinois. And another very famous industry is West Clocks, as you saw at the beginning of the video. Here is a little more history on it. It was started by William Matheson, which there is a state park nearby named after him. I'm sorry, his first name was Frederick, so it's Frederick William Matheson. And he started the company as Western Clock Company. And by 1905, it became a national powerhouse, producing one million alarm clocks per year. 
and 1909, it was trademarked West Clocks. And West Clocks was very innovative in the current system of workers' benefits. They started uh, paying for life insurance and have a safety committee. And they limited the work week. And in 1935, it was the safest company in the nation. 11 million hours without a lost time accident. And then during World War II, the company made mechanical fuses for the government and had more than 600 of its employees enter the armed forces. At its peak, the company manufactured nearly 2 million clocks and watches annually and employed over 4,000 people and ended up sadly closing in 1980 and it was a significant blow to La Salle, Peru and population losses are trending right now. So the population of Peru peaked in 1970 with 11,772 and now has 9,896. The economy of Peru is now based on the many stores that are on the north side of town. It became a major commercial hub for retail, namely the Peru Mall. However, if you've seen my videos over the last four years, Peru Mall is pretty much a dying mall. Only has a few stores left. Make sure you watch those videos and you'll see what I mean. However, surrounding the mall, there are still a bunch of stores such as Target, Home Depot, Menards, Walmart, Kohl's, amongst other things. So it is still a regional shopping area. However, it has declined because of the mall. And La Salle and Peru together benefit from having crisscrossing interstates. You have Interstate 39 off to the east, and you have Interstate 80 running east and west north of town. So I hope you enjoy a tour of downtown Peru. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, please, for a lot more content to come. Like comment and share these videos please god bless you continue shopping at your local businesses and continue shopping at your local mall thank you very much you guys are awesome